Welcome to a short tour of the most important new Sundog features. Point 1. Core Tension Support On the Chords page we have a new checkbox. Click it and Sundog will show you some extra hints. Chord buttons with empty background are harmonic chords, chord buttons with stripes are more dissonant. This can be useful to control the tension of your chord progressions. For example, I want to create a chord progression, which sounds very harmonic. But shortly before the end, I want to give it a little twist. Let's give it a try. Sounds nice, let's keep it. Point 2. The Trigger Editor In Sunlock 2 we have a new editor. The box here will trigger the pattern below. You can draw lines in the editor and the pattern will follow the pitch. In this example the melody is bound to the scale. I will unmute some drums now. Ok, let's add the bass line. And let the bass line follow our chord progressions. Just set the source mode to chord notes. We also want a pad in the background, so let's do that. Follow the chords. Alright, let's get to point 3. Song parts. In Sunlock 2 you can work with multiple song parts. Click on the plus sign and Sunlock will create a copy. You can change anything you want. Change some drums maybe. Create an arpeggio. Finally, point 4. Focus areas. On the left side you can see a blue border. This border will show you the currently active working area. This is useful for cut, copy and paste actions. For example, now the pattern area is focused. So I press Command plus X, which means cut, and now I can paste it again. Ok, thanks for watching. Now head over to feelersound.com slash sundog and grab a copy of the demo. See you soon!